Welcome back. Um, and today I'm going to demonstrate um, to you about pointers. Okay. So what is pointers? Okay. Um, I I, I want to say the, um, I'm talking about the meaning of the pointers, and I want to say why should you use pointer, um, or um, advantage of pointers comparing to a normal variables later on. And right now, um, is what is a pointer? Okay, pointer. So a pointer is um, itself is a um, variable. Again, it is a variable, so it's gonna 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 store some is to store some values as well. Okay. Now, but the special thing is it's gonna store. Okay, memory address or memory locations. Okay, of another variables. Okay, so this is special kind of um um, um variables. It is not. Um, is to store uh, simple kinds of values, but it's gonna store. It is also a variable store some values, but that values is the memory address of another um, variables. So let's just say I'm, uh, uh, I'm create a new C program in order to explain about this one. So we're gonna use um, uh, this and this one is C pointer. Okay, pointers demo. Okay, C pointer demo. finish. Okay, um, pointer is uh, something. Um, pointers is um, can be said as the um, horror inside C programming. It's a very difficult topic inside C programming. However, the concepts be behind that is is um, kind of simple. If you have a strong foundation of pointers, um, and, 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 and um, uh, it's going to be very useful for not only in C programming and um, uh, but um, also be useful in other programming languages too. So um, I will try to um, make this demonstration as simple as possible. I want to move it um, slowly so that um, make sure that you understand the um, foundation of pointer first before it gets into very ugly, okay? Because pointer is a complicated topic. But make sure that you feel um, convenience each time I, I make a move. So this one, again, it is a variable first. Just make sure it's a variable. And that is special variable is used to store memory like um, memory address or memory locus locus and another variables. Let's just make an example. When we declare a variable int x, what is going on is that inside our memory, let's assume this one is your a um, RAM of your computer, and each of the and each of the let me see this one, okay, and each of the each of the cell here is a byte. Okay, this one is your RAM inside your computer, and each of the cell here is a byte. Then, if you declare int x, okay, if you declare int x inside your memory at some locations, okay, what location? Um, we will not know. Um, um, I don't know yet, but at some location, it's going to reserve four bytes. Why four bytes? Because integer is represented using four bytes, so it's going to reserve four bytes here. Okay, and that um at some memory location. What is memory location? Um, um, mm, uh, we're going to cover it later. Then after this, if you do x equal to ten, now let us uh, make fifteen. Okay. And then in um inside this memory locations, okay x inside this memory location for x, okay, four bytes. A number 15 is going to be converted into binary format. They're going to be stored inside here. But just to make it um, simple, I'm going to store it in decimal form. And this four part right now is going to store number 15. So talking of uh, talking of um, um, this um, memory locations, okay. What memory location inside C in order to access the memory location? You're going to use the n percent x. Because this will give you the um, amperes and x will give you the memory address of of um, variable x inside your memory location. So we're gonna print f address uh, variable x is this one is a digit, okay slash n. I wanna put this one is n um, 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 uh, x. This one will give you the address of of the variable x inside the memory. So if you execute this one. If you execute this one, um, it's gonna show it is at about um, this memory address. Okay, this number. So I'm gonna copy that one. So it is stored in this location. Okay, it is stored in this location. Let me just make a copy here. Copy, um, pasting it here. Okay. So in this memory location inside the computer, okay, X is a name for this memory location, memory piece, piece of memory. Okay, X is named for this piece of memory, and um, it's storing now 15 in the memory location is um, 14,000. Um, 
so this one is you going to have this one up until here is a kilobyte this one is a megabyte this one is a gigabyte so up until 1.5 gigabytes inside your ram at that location somewhere this is first byte second byte third byte and this one is the byte number 14 something okay then um then um, 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 uh, we're going to talk this one is going to be a long digits uh okay so so if you run this one there is no um yeah this is a long digit so let me let me run this it's 14 thousand something no just 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 put it that's a digit there um now mm, we're going to declare okay we're going to declare um, we're going to declare a pointer now a pointer in order to declare a pointers you're going to use int and an asterisk over here what is int okay int is the data type of the variable x that we're going to point to so this one x pointer so this one int again is the data type of the variable that you're going to point to and this asterisk Okay, to show that it is a pointer, but not a normal integer, it's a pointer. And x pointer is variable name. Okay, and this one is another variable in somewhere inside the, uh, the somewhere inside the computer. And this variable is going to store the memory address of x. So in order to do that one, you're going to say x pointer equal to equal to memory address of x. So this one, um, you're going to say x pointer is pointing to variable x, okay? Or x, um, 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 if you do this one, some other places, you know, you should care, uh, should, should, need to, should not need to care somewhere, um, this one, some other places, somewhere inside your computer, okay? You have another variable, which is x pointer, you reserve for 4 bytes too, okay? At some locations. Okay. some locations okay. and this time if you want to you can just put n percent and you know you're gonna display the memory location but I'm just saying at some location okay um, you have another variable which is x pointer and if you say x pointer equal to address of x so this in this location is going to store the values this value which is address of x okay. which is the address of x Okay, and this one is called a pointer. Currently, it is pointing to. Currently, it is pointing to x. Okay, so what is this one for? You can use the pointer in order to manipulate this variable. Okay, you can use pointer in order to manipulate this variable. Let's say um, um, you're going to print out um, current values of x is. Okay, you're going to put. Um, um, this one is digits x okay you're gonna use print out you can access okay access to values x via its pointer you can access the values of x via its pointer and in order to access to the values of x via its pointer you're going to use asterisk operator x pointer okay again this asterisk is to point uh, to to tell that we are accessing to the values of the variable at the far end of this pointer, which means we are accessing to the values of the variable x that pointer is pointing to. Remember that one you're gonna use this asterisk operators and um, remember as well that this asterisk operator is to access the values and this asterisk itself. Because this asterisk itself at the declaration time means XPTR is a pointer. Okay, this one there is an asterisk here, and this asterisk has a different meaning with this asterisk. This asterisk has a meaning is this one is a pointer pointing to another variable, it's gonna be pointing to another variable of type int. Okay, this asterisk, but the asterisk here means different thing. Okay, this one means we are accessing to the values. Okay, values of the variable at the far end of the pointer or values of the variable that this pointer is pointing to which means you're accessing to the values of variable x that this pointer is currently pointing to so you're gonna have 15 as well okay so this one I'm gonna give the result here d percentage g 
this one slash n so if you execute both of them both of them going to display ah oh, okay um, there is a missing semicolon here okay if you execute okay both of them gonna be 15 so this one you current current values x is you access it x 15 and if you um access to that variable x via its pointer by this pointer which is 15 okay you can access var its pointer okay then uh, you can also um, you can also um, uh, change the um, change the values okay print out now change the values of um, x via or using its pointer okay so inside here slash n okay changing changing the values of x using this pointer um to let's mix um 18 okay and we're going to use its pointer the values of x pointer now change to um 18 then right now you're going to um now the values of x is Okay, the values of x is percentage d slash and right now you have x here okay so if you execute this one if you execute this one you'll see you use its pointer to change its value to 18 and this one will change to 18 too okay x won't change to 18 too so um get back to our case here so you can use this pointer and now this pointer is um that that is the basic one about um pointers make sure again once you declare int x okay int x inside the memory is going to reserve at some location some memory location this memory location is going to reserve um four bytes okay and x is um, um, um a name representing this four bytes okay x is a name representing this four bytes inside memory location then if you assign x equal to 15 then um, this um, piece of memory is going to store 15 and in order to um, get access to this memory locations what is that um, values inside the memory location um, you're going to use n percent operator of the variable name then this one is going to um, get you the address of the memory location and pointer again pointer is pointer is um, another variables that's why it's going to be stored um represent uh, some other pieces of memory as well let's say this one in, in this case is four bytes as well at some other locations okay and and um a special thing about it is going to store memory location of another variables okay it's not um, simple values but that value is memory location in order to declare a pointer you're gonna put an asterisk here and um, um, uh, this one is the type of the variable that you are pointing to so this is integer so it's gonna be this guy okay this pointer is going to point to this kind of variable so it's going to be int okay and um, um if you do um x pointer pointing to the address of variable x you're going to do it this way x pointer assign the values of address of the variable x so if you do this one um it's going to be something like this one okay and uh, it means that this memory location um, this pointer or uh, is pointing to this memory locations or the values of the pointer right now is the memory address of this variable that one is what it means about pointer okay then um, then you can access to the values of the variable okay using its pointer by placing an asterisk here before the pointer so it's going to if you put um something like asterisk x pointer then it's going to um, access to the values of the var variable at far ends of it which is values of x here values of x is 15 okay you have 15 there okay and you can use the same operators here x pointer um, um, um uh, asterisk x pointer to change the values of to change the values of the variables and that variable won't change accordingly okay accordingly okay this is the most basic things about pointer before you're going to get um, um before it's gonna get ugly if i'm gonna show you another other things inside um pointer but make sure that you do understand what the pointer is first okay and you really really graph this concept first before i move on because if you understand this one it's going to be very easy to move on to um another um, complicated topics inside pointer in the um, uh, next part, I'm going to explain about pointer to pointer, pointer to an array, um, um, and also advantages of using pointer, or why should you use pointers? 
okay but this one make sure you understand this one first 